So, it's finally here, AirTags. We've known about these things now since around 2019, so it was only a matter of time before we'd be able to get our hands on them. You might remember from Apple's keynote that they announced that they'd be selling a single AirTag for $29 and a four-pack for $99. The unboxing is pretty minimal, as you'll expect for such a small product. There's no Apple stickers this time, just some documentation, and when you open up the booklet here, you've got some instructions and then the AirTag right in the middle. If we take it out, you'll notice that it's wrapped in some plastic. If we take off that plastic, there's a little tab still attached to the AirTag. If we give that a little tug, then the back battery circuit closes, the AirTag turns on for the first time, and makes a little noise. Taking a look at this for the first time in person, I'm actually really surprised at how small it is. It seems like the perfect size so that it's not going to get in the way. The top is made from a white plastic that's nice and smooth, and you've got a stainless steel metal bottom. There have been some initial reports that these are scratching up pretty easily, so be sure to bear that in mind, particularly considering that you're probably going to be attaching one of these to your keys or backpack. To initiate the pairing process, you're going to want to grab your iPhone on iOS 14.5 or later and set your AirTag down next to it. Then you'll get this little message pop up on your iPhone, and that'll be quite familiar if you've ever set up a pair of AirPods in the past. To pair your AirTag with your phone, first of all, you need to name it so that you know what it's attached to when you see it on the map. You can pick from any of these predefined options or give it a custom name. In this instance, I'm gonna tap keys since I'll be attaching this to my car keys. Then you'll need to register your AirTag to your Apple ID. This is a pretty important step because your Apple ID holds all of the information necessary for someone to be able to get in contact with you if you ever lose whatever your AirTag is attached to. Then you're all set. AirTag is IP67 water resistant, so it can be temporarily submerged in water if you want, although I'm not gonna recommend that. The reason being is that you can easily take this thing apart. All you have to do is push on the metal bottom, rotate it, and then it will come straight off. This is mainly so you can replace the battery, which is just one of these little CR2032 coin style batteries that you'll find in a lot of watches and key fobs. So you've got your AirTag all set up, now what do you do with it? Funnily enough, Apple hasn't included any sort of loops or adhesive that you can use to easily attach it to things. But fear not, of course Apple has you completely covered on this one with a whole selection of accessories that you can buy, starting from around $10 and going all the way up to $449 for an Hermes luggage tag, if you're into that sort of thing. Just as a side note, third party manufacturers have already started releasing third-party accessories that you can use to attach air tags to all manner of things, including this super cool dog collar that you can use to track your furry friend in real time. I decided to pick up this leather key ring in the Baltic blue color. This one retails for $39 and you can also get it in saddle brown or product red. To put your air tag in, you just slide it into this little pocket and then snap this popper together. It's pretty snug in there and it's definitely not going anywhere. So the moment of truth, you've lost your keys and they've got an air tag attached to them. How do you go about finding them? Well, it's pretty simple actually. If you've got an iPhone with the U one chip inside of it, that's the iPhone 11 or 12, you'll be able to open the Find My App and tap on the Items tab down at the bottom. From there, you'll have the option to play a sound on the AirTag, or if it's close enough, you'll be able to use what Apple is calling precision finding. It's basically just a game of hot or cold that will direct you to your AirTag, and I must say it's pretty impressive how accurate it is. If your AirTag's out of range, then you can also mark it as lost within the Find My App, and it will attempt to use other iPhones in the local area to securely update the location of it on the map. Pretty cool. If you're concerned about AirTags being able to track you, like if someone were to slip one into your bag or attach it to your car, your iPhone will actually notify you that an AirTag that doesn't belong to you has been following you around if the owner of that AirTag isn't nearby. That's pretty nice to know. So that's AirTags. If you've made it this far, then you might as well subscribe and of course, be sure to hit the like button. It's always greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.